fun times. It's always great to get a box in the mail. I've been in search of a cool looking bike helmet to replace my nutcase. Hi, I'm Arnie and here we talk Rad Rovers. We go for rides, we talk accessories. If you're interested in any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button, click the bell icon so you won't miss anything, and check the show notes in the description for even more details. I've been riding with the nutcase for the last two years and uh, it's getting a little bit worn inside so I thought I'd go looking for something new. Liked this helmet a lot but I always felt like it just kind of stuck way up on top of my head so let's get into this box. Now this video is actually interactive because I'm going to ask for your input so you need to keep watching. <laughs> Helmets from Thousand, not one, but two. And that's the interactive part. I need help making a decision. If you've been in the search for cool helmets, you may have heard of Thousand. And uh, this is the, Her one, the Heritage Collection. And the thousand, well, they look good, but they also are ecological. I guess, is that the word? Environmentally aware. They they do a lot of things for for the ecology and the environment, and I just kind of like that also. So comes in a this great. I don't even know what that is. Fabric bag. The first one is Daybreak Red. Kind of like that color. It's not a bright, bright red. I don't like it as much now in person as I did when I saw it online. But it does have that nice retro look to it. I like that shape a lot. Very cool, the red with the nice white brim. They have something called vegan leather, which faux leather in any other terms, I don't know exactly what they make it out of, but that's that's pretty cool. It comes in three sizes, it comes in a small, a medium, and a large. My dome requires a large. And also inside is an owner's manual. The um, thousand strap has this magnetic attachment at the buckle, which is nice. It's not really unique, however. The nutcase has a similar kind of uh, attaching device, but that's it's cool nonetheless. I like that a lot. It really makes getting your helmet on and off very, very simple. Also, one of the things that it has that makes this very nice, and again, this isn't unique, but it's something that's very nice, is the ratcheting dial system to dot really dial in the fit for your head. Let's see how obviously not adjusted properly for me. So let's spread that out a little bit. There we go. And the buckle just snaps right in there. It's really simple. And then with one hand, you can just slide it and undo it. it and you don't even, I mean, it's, it basically locks itself. 
Okay, there's the there's the red. Feels comfy. I'll have to tighten this up a little bit to make it um, fit a little bit better. But you get the idea. Has a seven vents, three on the top, and four on the bottom. Four on the bottom on the back. It's supposed to be very very. Um, the airflow is supposed to be very good. Maybe not quite as good as a, a bike racing helmet. But we'll see. Unfortunately, with all the smoke that we have around here, I'm not going to be able to go for a ride and test it out. So that's a bummer. As I mentioned, this is the 59 to 62. That's the large. And that's plenty big. And I've got a big dome. So that's, that's really going to fit. <laughs> that fits really well. I can even tighten that up a little bit to make it... There we go. Good. I always thought that I had a super big dome, but that fits really well. Okay. Now, as I said, this is interactive. That's that Daybreak Red. The other one titanium. That's very cool also. Okay, there's the titanium one. What do you think? Hmm? Styling, right? <laughs> I think they look great. You know, if you're looking for an urban type of helmet, these guys really do have some style. What do you think? Do you like the titanium or the Daybreak Red? I originally thought that this was going to be, without question, the one. But I wanted to see two of them. I'm thinking this might be the one. But I'm, I am looking for your input. So if you could... Uh, Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. These are these are so cool, and you'll notice the the pop lock thing that allows you to put your U lock through there. That's very cool. Tons and tons of color. Also, they're they've got a lot of different colors, different kinds of designs, that kind of thing. They're always bringing out new colors as well. So I'll leave a link down below, and you can check them out yourself. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to wear it a lot, but it feels as good on my head as any other. And compared to the nut case, this is considerably lighter. I like the fact that it has a lower profile also, so that kind of, you know, doesn't stick up so high on my head. I'm, I'm liking this. All right, well, that's it. Just wanted to do a quick one, talk about the, my dilemma here, making a, making a decision. Thanks for watching. Hey, we'll see you next time. Do appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. Remember, tell me which one you like. Thanks. We'll see you later.